We start with starting the program. So we start OpenRail Designer. First, we select the workspace and work set. Workspace and work set is quite important as it determines the standards that will be used uh, for the project. So that includes the feature definitions, design standards, and even templates. We select training and examples, and from here we select training metric. Then we go to browse, and I browse to the location where I stored my training. Here I have three files. The terrain.djam file contains our terrain model. Track CL points contains our regression points that we'll use for our regression example. And finally, rail model is our main file that we will be using throughout the training. These two other files will be referencing to rail model.dgen. So we select it and open. File is opened. We can see that the file already contains um, rail geometry. This geometry has both horizontal and vertical already defined on it. So let's take a look at the interface. In here we can see that we have various workflows. We will be mostly using open rail modeling workflow, but if you, for example, want to check reality modeling workflow, you can see different tools in here. So I go back to OpenRail modeling and I see that I have civil specific tools. These are in the home, we have our attached tools, levels and etc. In the terrain, we have tools for creating our terrains. Geometry is for geometry tools. Corridors is for modeling. And rail is for rail specific tools. This training is uh, mainly about rail specific tools. So if you are interested in uh, going in more detail about how to create a geometry or how to import the terrain, you can see our terrain in here, by the way, you can uh, go and refer to open roads trainings. In the open roads trainings, you can find the basic to basic trainings for terrain geometry and corridors. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.